Welcome to ERSI THD Test Drive. Today we will be comparing the ERSI Super Q and the Janssen C Core coil and comparing the results. Today we've chosen an 8.2 millihenry coil which has a 51.49 ohm inductive reactance at 1 kilohertz. Because of this, we have chosen a frequency range of 20 hertz to 1 kilohertz for today's test. We will be testing at a tenth of a watt, 1 watt, 10 watts, 100 watts, and 500 watts across an 8 ohm dummy load. The solid line will represent the pre-recorded amplifier test. The dashed line will represent the super Q test. And finally, the dashed dot line will represent the Janssen C core test. First, the tenth of a watt Janssen C core shown here in yellow. The green line represents the amplifier test. And now, one tenth of a watt at super Q. It's very difficult to test the total harmonic distortion at higher frequency levels due to the very low signal level due to the natural roll-off caused by the inductive reactants. And now the 1 watt Janssen C core shown here in purple. The net distortion is the difference between the coil distortion curve and the amplifier distortion curve. In this case 0.02% minus 0.01% shown on the amplifier curve. And now the 10 watt, 10 watt Janssen C core test. And now the 10 watt Super Q test. What we're looking for is distortion above 0.5 or 1%, which most audio engineers feel is audible. At this range, we are below the audible point of distortion. Here in yellow is the Janssen C core test at 100 watts, and now the 100 watt Super Q test. As the power starts to increase, Super Q starts to perform and excel. And now the 500 watt Janssen C core test shown here in purple. As you can see, the core has begun to saturate quite abruptly between 20 and 100 hertz and has quite a bit of audible distortion. And now the blue line representing the ERSI Super Q test at 500 watts which shows no audible distortion. And the final results of the 500 watt curves and the 100 watt curves, the yellow line, yellow arrow represents the ERSI 100 watt, the green arrow represents the 100 watt Janssen, the red represents the 500 watt Super Q, and the orange represents the Janssen C core at 500 watts showing quite a bit of distortion. Thank you for taking today's THD test drive.